After raising political temperature with his end Sanatan call, Tamil Nadu Minister Odanidhi Stalin may now face legal heat. The controversy now finds itself at the door of the Supreme Court where 262 individuals, including 14 former judges, have signed a petition urging the Chief Justice of India to take action against what they call is hate speech. This is the context. Basically, last year the Supreme Court said that state governments should take suo moto cognizance of increasing number of hate speech incidents that are happening because if that doesn't take place, then the secularism of our country will be under threat. The argument of these citizens is what Udainidhi Stalin said is hate speech and by not acting against him, the Tamil Nadu government is in contempt of court. The question now is, will there be action taken and the bigger question is can there be hypocrisy on the issue of something as sensitive as hate speech and hate speech against an entire community let me take that across to the guests who are joining us now we have with us we have with us uh, Guru Prakash continuing, uh, Sanjay Dixit, IS and IS officer and former additional chief secretary of Rajasthan. Uh, Lokesh Jindal, leader of the Congress, also continues with us. Sanjay Dixit, let me first asking, uh, start by asking you, because you're one of the signatories, why do you want the Supreme Court to step in? And how does this qualify as hate speech according to you? I'm not able to hear clearly. I'm how not able to hear. Okay. Guru Prakash, is this hate speech hypocrisy, where on the one hand, the same people who said that Nupur Sharma should be prosecuted, should be arrested, are quiet on Udainidhi Stalin? No, no, Padmaja, absolutely. And on the one hand, this is also showing the true character of the India Alliance people. And you have to understand that this incident must not be viewed in isolation. There is a pattern to it. Two days ago, the India Alliance leadership sat in Mumbai. There was absolutely no consensus in the name of Neta, but there was a consensus in the name of Niti. Now listen to me, what is their Niti? Their Niti is insulting the sentiments of more than 80-85 crore Hindus on a daily basis. Mr. Uday Niti Stalin's case, it's not a unique case. You just see the trajectory. Swami hmm. Prasad Maurya. Uh, part of Samajwadi party, what did he say? Hindu dharma ke baare mein? Mr. Satish, president of the Karnatak Pradesh Congress Committee, Hindu shabd ganda shabd hai, Gopal Italia, Aam Admi party, he said mandir mein jane ki aavashakta nahi hai. You're absolutely now, right, but Mr. here let me bring Gandhi, out, here let me bring out an aspect which will make you uncomfortable. Hold on, Guru Prakash, what did the Supreme Court say? Supreme Court said state government should take suo moto action. Swami Prasad Maurya is in Uttar Pradesh. Gopal Italia is in Gujarat. What stopped these state governments from taking suo moto action? Here's the thing, that politically everyone picks it up, but then no one actually acts. Are Swami Prasad Maurya. Oh no, Padmaja, you, you should understand one thing, that Bharatiya Janta Party, Jan Sangh or RSS, we don't need any certification from anyone. Hindu prem ke liye hume kisi se praman pat lene ki aavashakta nahi hai. Obviously there will be actions. We have seen bulldozer action wherever it has been required. In Uttar Pradesh, in Madhya Pradesh, in Uttaranchal. But the devious design, the devilish design of the India Alliance people of this attack on our Sanatan Dharma, it speaks, it is an indication, eradication of Sanatan Dharma. What was the topic, what was the theme of the seminar where Mr. Stalin was speaking? Hmm. It was eradication of Sanatan Dharma. Sanatan Dharma ka sarva nash, Sanatan Dharma ka samul nash. This was the topic and there has been, it has been more than 48 hours Padmaja and there is no collective press communique released by India, India Alliance till now. Hmm. Ideally, they should have come out with a joint press conference that we disown the statement of Odin Edith Stalin and there is absolutely no such case. Actually, far from it, far from it, Chesi Venugopal said very clearly, we India believe in Sardham Sambhav. But everyone has the right to put their view forward. You, however, Mr. Dixit, have written to the Supreme Court asking for action against hate speech. As a citizen, why, according to you, does this qualify as hate speech? And why should the state government act? Oh, the hate speech is clearly qualified. There was a uh, Supreme Court judgment this year. This is Kaushal Kishore versus State of UP. And this is, uh, the citation is 2023 for SEC 1. And that clearly lists out uh, all the exceptions. And uh, according to me and according to the other eminent citizens who have filed, 
and this also according to the uh, judgment that has been delivered in uh, Shaheen Abdullah, this clearly comes under incitement to an offence because he's talking of eradication. You see, there is a difference between a criticism or between opposing, you know, the same uh, uh, particular meeting which has taken place this year. Last year, it was titled Opposition to Sanatan Dharma. And that is okay, because you can oppose Sanatan Dharma, you can criticize, uh, you can say a lot of things, you can uh, point out deficiencies, that's all very well. But the moment you say that it is to be eradicated, you equate it with malaria, dengue, flu, corona, and then you use that equivalence that shows that you are inciting an offense you are actually calling for violence hmm. eradication of a sanatan dharma or eradication of any religion or any thought that clearly indicates a call to violence and as soon as you do a call to violence it is incitement to an offense and Answer. that offense Rukhye is Jindra. under section 4 is this not contempt of court if a call to violence is not acted against suomoto by the state government Congress well, is very uh, vocal Pabuja. against hate speech, right? They said nafrat ki rajniti versus mohabbat ki dukaan. Yes. Well, uh, already FIR has been filed in Delhi. And uh, the, the law will take its uh, own no, due no, course. No, no, no. The Supreme Court is very clear in saying the state government should take action. Well, the uh, government DMD of the state is, uh, where the offense has been the committed. Government. The offense wasn't committed in Delhi. Padmaja, the DMK is heading the state government in uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, you are in alliance uh, with them. Interfere in the, so what? I mean, uh, we are in alliance with them. So we cannot uh, formula or formulate the policy or the ideology of DMK. Well, yeah. uh, Mr. K K C Venugopal, he has clearly stated that the ideal to which Congress Party adheres to is Sarva Dharma Sambhav. That we is believe okay. in equal respect to that all religions. That is like saying a murder However, has happened in my state no, and you me, make a statement if, which, which is basically we believe in non-violence. Arev, arrest the murderer. Uh, Nobody wants to know what your philosophical thought is. Enforce see, the had law. It been, had it been in a Congress ruled state and you would have asked me a similar question, I would have uh, I would have held the Congress party responsible for it. But over here... Arev, but it is your state. Authority. You are formally in alliance no, with them, sir. Thing. The Election Commission of India has a provision whereby under Representation of People's Act, it can take due cognizance and can also restrict uh, the political participation of a politician. Why are why is in the center? Are you do thing? your job? No. Why are you ask? Why no, are you telling us are, what the EC tell can me do? one thing. What, what what do you want us to do? We want we want, you to want go to the Congress chief minister and say arrest. Take so no, of cognizance and arrest. With what capacity do we go to the chief minister? The same and capacity who, uh, in which you were tweeting arrest? by. Hmm. The same capacity in which you were tweeting Nupur Sharma ko turand giraftar kiya jana chahiye. Usi capacity mein. So, in that capacity, you asked the question that the UP government jo thi, it doesn't act when Swami Prasad Maurya uh, utters a statement. Okay, Sanjay Dikshit responding. Like Sanjay Dikshit responding. He is he's talking about uh, the owning of responsibility for the state in uh, Congress state. This very Congress state, the Congress ruled state in Rajasthan, you know, they arrested Kanaya Lal Teli, the person who was later killed. And why was Kanaya Lal Teli arrested? He was arrested under section 107, 151, only for supporting Rupur Sharma. The Congress government arrested Kanaya Lal Teli. And today, they are acting like saints and saying that we believe in Sarva Dharma Sambhav. And, you know, had it been our state, this very Congress government, I'll tell you, they registered an FIR against Bageshwar Dham Maharaj, Dhirendra Krishna Shastri. You know how saying what? He said that Kumbhaga fort should have a Bhagwa flag. That's all he said. Hmm. And they launched an FIM against him. Okay, then answer this, Harish Mohammed Ibrahim. Even now, it's been four days since. Why has no Suomoto cognizance been taken? And should it not be taken of what is clearly being called now a hate speech? So much so that even Team India allies are uncomfortable about it. Mr. First of all, I want to yeah. First of all, I want to make sure that I am here as an independent political analyst and not uh, giving out any yes, statement you are, on the DMK party. 
Yeah, but the only thing I want to make sure is to represent the fact that it has been misinterpreted, misquoted as like the BJP is known for it, right? And number one, and they have not knew for this kind of things uh, against the South Indians. And uh, I don't want to use precisely South Indians, but the, here the matter of the fact is Sanadana Dharma, which is an ideological fact, which has been uh, totally against the Dravidian movement. And that is what which has been inferred by our uh, leader Udainidi Stalin in his meeting, stating categorically saying that it has been a Sanadana Dharma, which is creating a social uh, injustice among the people okay. because it has been derived. No, 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 please give me a second. Because yeah. it has been derived from a Varnashramu where you have the three upper class that is uh, Sutras, Brahmanas, and Satriyas. And the next one is the, the we are the Sutras where uh, the fourth class will be doing all the work to the third, uh, all the third upper class, right? And this kind of injustice is not allowed in Tamil Nadu soil. And that is where the social injustice movement has been more eradicated and the social justice movement formed in the Justice Party. In okay, very quickly, I only have 30 seconds no, 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 left. Guru no, 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 Prakash, no, no, respond no, 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 to this. No, Sir, you no, bashed no, very no, late. No, but this no, needs no, this no, needs a response. No, the no, argument no, is, no, this no, is no hate speech, so why should any action be taken? But very quickly, Guru Prakash, just 20 seconds. Yes. No, no, I have a very uh, basic question to my friend who just spoke before me. If that is the case, then why did Mr. Karunanidhi worship Ramanujacharya ji? Do you have any answer to it? Second, you said the idea of Sanatan is different in North, the idea of Sanatan is different in South. Then why an Adi Shankaracharya who is born in Kerala, he is building mathas in the four directions of the country? Okay. What is your idea of Sanatan okay. Dharma? This was, this was more... This was, this... Who, who was Adi Shankaracharya? Where was Adi Shankaracharya was born? No, you have absolutely no idea of it. Okay, I think, I think the most specific I'm debate today was about whether this people. construes hate speech and whether it should invite action. The larger picture, of course, is about the meaning of Sanatan and how it is being interpreted or projected by the DMK and how it is seen by a large population of practicing Sanatanis. I'm going to leave it at that. Strong words indeed coming from citizens. Will that spur action, especially from the Supreme Court? We'll have to watch. Thanks, gentlemen. I'm out of time.